Are you ready for the best weekend ever? Yes, I am! If anyone said to me, you know, it might be too soon to make a film about World War II that has comedic actors in it, I would say it is the appropriate time because I think that the best way of delivering a message is to use comedy to relax an audience and draw them in. Here's the conscriptions and here's a gun. Ooh. Oh. I play the imaginary friend of Jojo. Hi, Adolf. Because imaginary Adolf comes from the mind of a 10-year-old, he can only know what a 10-year-old knows. So you can imagine Hitler as a complete buffoon who really knows nothing about anything. Let's go, libraries are dumb. Shh. Casting the right kid was a big deal for us. Finding someone that the audience inherently just fell in love with. Roman's really charming and he's funny and he has a very, very sweet nature and a very caring heart. And because of that, that does carry through into the character. There's a lot of him in that character. Hi. And then with Thomason, I already knew about her from New Zealand, that she was a rising star and that she could do it. Elsa has had a life before World War II. She's not just a victim. She's got so many other layers. She doesn't want pity. She just wants to be able to live her life. You want teaching? I might eat later. For now, I'm just going to chew on these grapes. I like mother characters that aren't just the mother. Scarlett's so amazing, and she's a fun person, and she's like got this sort of goofy quality about her that I really wanted to see in a film, and was lucky enough to be able to get her to do for this. With one eye, like... You got it. Rosie is a real ray of sunshine in a dark, hopeless time. She doesn't allow those circumstances to keep her from being who she really is, a committed parent who puts the time in. Someday you'll meet someone special. Why does everyone keep telling me that? Who else tells you that? Everyone. Anyway, it's a stupid idea. <laughs> You're stupid. Love is the strongest thing in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. Sam Rockwell plays Captain Klentzendorf. Captain K! Woo! God help me. I really love roles that have a juxtaposition, a real dichotomy, you know. Even though it would appear our country's on the back foot and there really isn't much hope in us winning this war, apparently we're doing just fine. I like the rebel is a complete idiot. He talks about being the most civilized race on earth and then immediately is like, let's burn books. It's not every day, believe it or not, that you get in a comedy script that is funny and powerful. So I was like, oh my gosh, I really, really want to be a part of it. I've had 18 kids for Germany. Such a great year to be a girl. The fact that Steven is so scary, I mean, it's not fun, but I really enjoy watching it. Oh, now this is my kind of little boy's bedroom. I knew from having seen Tyker's work that I probably shared a kind of common sensibility, both a sense of humour and a sort of performance style that's quite naturalistic. Ooh, I gotta go. It is an anti-hate film and it's pro-peace. I just want people to be more tolerant, spread more love and less hate.